universe to manage the world around you, which leads us to the universal code of success. Plan your work, plan your life, then work your plan, work your life. Well, thank you very much for coming this evening. Next week, same time. that my IRA account is closed. What happened? What, what are you talking about? To the money in the account. What money? You can never do that to me again. Money you is not never. the issue. Money is not the issue. And let's not have another little scene. That was every bit of my savings. Hey, Kathy, try and understand there are certain needs that outweigh the needs of others. Cut the righteous bullshit. I was there when you wrote it, remember? Kathy, try and be understanding. You steal money from me again? I swear, I'll kill you. years in the future. Earth and its colonies are controlled by a military political party known as the Bridgists. Their need for total control has led to the near elimination of personal freedom through the use of biotracker implants in all Bridgist citizens. A rebellion against Bridges rule led to a long and devastating war, resulting in over 30 billion casualties and the destruction of all life on Earth. Now, after 20 years, the rebellion is finally coming to an end. Bridges' forces are closing in on the last remains of the renegade army.
We have enemy troops closing on the bridge. Sir, my men are wondering if the commander is considering surrender. Sergeant, I have the 303rd fighter squad less than 16 minutes away. Hold your position. Commander, the 303rd was destroyed. We have no choice. We have to surrender. There are families on board this ship. Time? Eight minutes. We have to move. Where's your family? They're dead. Okay, listen. I want you to stay here until I get back, okay? Okay. What do you say? Yes, sir.
Sir, the hangar's been breached. We'll begin a sweep of casualties. Lieutenant Rand, return to ship. Negative on sweep. But, sir, there's civilians all over this station. You heard me, Lieutenant. Return to ship. Yes, sir. Arcadian, when we're clear, hit the station with pulsed missiles. Sir, the hall of it is filled with civilians. We can't destroy it until it's evacuated. Arcadian, fire when you're in position. Sir! You're relieved of duty. Sir, please. Let me call for an evacuation ship. Let's remove the civilians from the station. Arcadian, fire. No! Put that weapon down unless you plan on using it, Lieutenant. Get up. No way, man. I got 12 more days. 12 fucking days. You look at this. One, two, three. Fuck you. Fuck you. Four. The concept of a universal being Preaches is based faster. on the theory that each and every one of you believes that you deserve freedom, yet God has not found you deserving. Why? I ask you why. Ask yourselves why. That is a perfect example.
Lieutenant Rand. Miss Wingate. I'm glad you can join us. Always a pleasure. I'm sure it is. Sir, I've assembled the prisoners. Thank you, Doctor. Run to playback. Ran, Anthony. Formerly Lieutenant Ran. Received the Cross of Honor for his actions during the battle for Proximia. Awarded the Medal of Valor twice. Sentence, death for the murder of his commanding officer. Frankel, John, formerly Sergeant Frankel. Awarded Silver Star three times for action in the Battle of Mars. Became avid Bridges. Later claimed Bridges convinced his wife to leave him and stole his money after banishing him from the church. Bridges, motherfucker. Sergeant Frankel authorized a search and destroy on three local Bridges facilities. Sentenced to death, plus 47 life sentences. Wingate, Dina, formerly Captain Wingate. 12 confirmed kills in the Battle of Europa. Husband was murdered during an uprise in Norina Space Station. Captain Wingate commandeered a Hellcat and destroyed station. Sentence, death. Uriah Foster, formerly Sergeant Uriah, awarded the White Star for actions during the battle for the Saturn colonies. Destroyed villages on Proximia II, claiming that they had ambushed a patrol. It was later learned that Sergeant Uriah was working as a mercenary for hire, sentenced to death. Well, I should be honored with this assembly of war heroes. But unfortunately, not everybody sees your actions in the same redeeming way. Why don't you get to the point? No, no, no. No. The lieutenant is quite right in saying. I'm sure you all have your busy schedules to get back to. So let me get right to the point. Six months ago, Commander Tunis and Colonel Norris escaped capture. In fact, Lieutenant, you were present at the commander's final battle. And if you recall, his disregard for the civilian crew placed you into your present situation. So to speak. Well, Lieutenant, Commander Tunis and Colonel Norris have been located on Earth. Thus, I'm willing to offer you all a deal. What kind of deal? Using their bio implants to track them, you'll return Commander Tunis and Colonel Norris to this time to stand trial or bring back evidence of their termination. This time? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Their ship was fitted with a time generator. They're on Earth in the year 1998. And why should we care? You've got us all facing death sentences. Because, Lieutenant, the success of your team in returning or terminating these war criminals will mean a complete pardon and a return to duty. A return to duty. You got a better offer, Lieutenant? Now all we have to do is go back to 1998 and cap this son of a bitch, Tunis? That's correct, Sergeant. Count me in. Oh yeah, count me in. So why did Tunis go back to 1998? I trust you'll provide us with that answer when you return. Well, Lieutenant Rand. Can we take a bath first? Depressurize the hangar bay. Airlock's closed. Depressurizing, sir. Activate the time generator systems. System activated. I don't know why the hell they wasted time upgrading our implants. Not gonna be much use where we're going. Especially if something happens and we don't come back. They gave you that back? Yeah. Special? Yeah, it was my father's.
What's what's that? It's the prices of every stock on the American, Nasdaq, and New York Stock Exchange from 1995 right up to the great collapse of 2019. Really? Can I, you know, maybe work for me? Sure. Hey, I could make you my, uh, my, uh, my janitor. Open the hangar doors. Launch pad locked in position. We are cleared for launch. Negate, uh, start the launch sequence. I think I'm gonna like the 20th century. Lieutenant Rand, Captain Wingate, Sergeants Frankel and Uriah. There's one more piece of information. I'm sure you've all thought about not returning to this time once your ship gets back to 1998. That's understandable. What? Unacceptable. So we thought you might need more motivation to complete your mission. We've updated your bio implants with a small nitron charge. It will detonate. 40 hours unless you return with Commander Tunis and Colonel Norris for proof of their termination. What the fuck, huh? What the fucking fuck? Get me the fuck off this ship! Sir, we didn't sign on for a suicide mission. Stop the life sequence. Can't. Can't. Open the door! I'm gonna blow it open! Blow the fucker! No, you're not. The bay has already been depressurized. Colonel Swift, let's stop the launch. I'm sure we can come to some kind of an agreement. Good luck on your mission, Lieutenant. Your life depends upon it. I covered for you as long as I possibly could, but Gets kept on asking me, kept asking me where you were. Do you mind? <clears throat> Do you mind? No, no. Son of a bitch. John Howard, please. John, this is Kathy Easton. What happened to my account? You were supposed to have two signatures on that account. Thank you, John. Problems? No, everything's just great. Let's go. Eight. Oh, there's control damage. But a manual. Mine is secluded place to land. Got another problem. Radar. Jam it. Done. Right, wake up. This is going to be a little rough. Hey, okay. it's going to be a little tight. hours and then our implants go off. We lost three in the transition. That leaves us with 37. 37? Even fucking better. Stop whining. Let's find Tunis. 
Fuck it. I'm gonna take my chances and deactivate it myself. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Don't you think they thought about that? Nitron charge will blow up the ship. You wanna screw around and get the hell out of here. Magnetic triggers. You, you screw with them, they detonate. Well, thank you, Mr. Implant Expert. Get a track on Tunis. Everybody rig up. Unidentified craft in the northwest sector. Appeared at 25,000, then just disappeared. Disappeared? Yes, sir. We had a good track on it until it jammed us. Jammed us? Did we talk to the Russians? Yes, sir. Nothing of theirs. All right. Get a hold of those two agents on loan to us from the feds. Uh, funny names like guns. Sir? Smith and Wesson. It's a Turk. It's a truck. Who's going to operate this thing? Well, you're the flight officer. Yeah, flight officer. Uriah, have you ever operated one of these? Once. Well, that's once more than the rest of us. You, uh, drive. No, Franklin, back. Back? It, it, it we, we're missing the, um, it, we don't, it doesn't have a, a, a key. The what? The, the, the thing that turns it on. I can turn it on. Inspection is on Burnside. Yep, I know. Well, unless you're planning on taking a detour through Idaho, um, we're headed the wrong way. Hamilton, you're worried about being late? I can drop you off anytime. Right here? Yep. With a vote on the handgun initiative less than five days away, we've located Congressman Jari. Let's find out what he plans to do. Hello, Paula. Congressman, we understand that you plan to block passage of the handgun initiative and introduce your own bill. Well, I'm sure there are a lot of fellow congressmen who are searching for the safe, politically correct position to take in regards to this bill. So let me be perfectly clear. Well-armed citizens mean well-behaved criminals. Thank you, Paula. This won't take long. Isn't this your ex-husband's house? My ex-house.
to change the locks. Probably because it's his house. My mother gave me this house. The place is kind of a dump. How come you didn't get it? He had a better lawyer. Great. Now we're breaking and entering. Catherine Bridges. Hi. Who are you? An associate of your husband. Ex-husband. Really? Then isn't it a bit odd that you would be in this house? I was getting something that belonged to me. What are you doing? Your husband's writings and philosophies are important to the future of many people. Yeah, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I see you're not alone, Miss Bridges. Just for the record, I have nothing to do with this. I was brought here entirely against my will. Understand. Clusterfuck. Red! Get the hell out of there! The whole place is wired! Come on! Run! Taking the shot, Rand. Just get in. Aren't you guys the police? No, we're not the police. Now drive! Where are we going? Wingate, get a track on him. Shit! Something's wrong with this thing! You hey! I can fix it. You, you got a dynagraphic processor? Have you got a dynographic processor? A, 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 a computer. Yeah. Where is it? Why? Because we need it. Where is your fucking computer? Calm down! Please stop! Okay. What's your name? Kathy. Kathy. We're not gonna hurt you. We'll need your help. And you gotta trust me. Take us to your computer. All right? Fine. Thank you. Relax, Frankel. What? Let's keep looking, all right? What, your feds got nothing better to do? Agent Smith. Agent Wesson. They have us looking for anything unusual in the area. Uh, Smith and Wesson. <laughs> I mean, come on, you guys are kidding, right? Well, I wouldn't call this that unusual. You know whose house this was? Whose? John Bridges. 
The motivational speaker? Somebody was motivated. Yeah, right. Yeah, I wrote that book, Universal Being. You know, my wife loved that book. I really don't go in for that kind of thing, but I'm telling you. Is there a, lot of a point out. to this? Oh, no, I'm sorry. You feds are all so busy. We'll rephrase that. What's the connection? No, thank you. <laughs> Dead guy's partner was Kathy Easton, Bridges' ex-wife. So you're saying the ex-wife came over and blew up the ex-husband's house? I hear the ex is always the number one suspect, right? Captain. Yeah. Found another body over the south side of the Yeah. House. Come over and take a look. Got another body. What is it? Some kind of radio transmission is coming out of it. There's something stuck in him transmitting. You mean on him? No, I mean in him. Who are you people? We're, uh, part of a military operation. The two men in that house were our targets. Until you got in the way. So you're Bridges. And what? The book. What are you talking about? The book, the universal being. My ex-husband wrote that book. Your ex-husband? Yeah. John Bridges. John Bridges? Must be why they traveled back to this time. The beginning of the Bridges movement. Too many fucking coincidences. Just hold You're on. You're telling us everything that you know. Tell us the truth. Are you a Bridges? I don't even know what a Bridges is. We got company. <laughs> Place covered. Good. Kathy Easton, this is your second warning. You are surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Frankel, we're running out of time. Okay, okay. Sure doesn't fit the profile. Works for city inspection office for eight years. Clean record. And kills her partner and blows up her ex-husband's house. Hell has no fury like a scorned woman. It's fixed. Okay, Wingate, we need a diversion. Coming from that car. when they wake up. They're gonna think I have something to do with this. You wanna stick around? No. Oh. I didn't think so. Get the car. So, this car blows up and knocks out you and eight cops? That about sums up the situation there, Major. Great. All right, now what's with this body you brought in? Two bodies. Two? Hamilton Finley, the uh, kid from the building inspector's office, and a second body, that's what we want you to see. Wearing military uniform and his neck was implanted with some kind of a radio device. His neck? Jesus. All right, let's go take a look at this guy. So 
So is that it? Yes, sir. Any ideas? Gonna have to extract it for anything more. All right, proceed. meters inside. How do you know they're in there? We've been tracking their ID implants. What? I say we get rid of this baggage. We're not getting rid of anybody. She's my responsibility. You sit tight. Frankel, you're on point. Point? Why am I on point? What about her? Because she's got to fly the ship, so I'm expendable. We're all expendable. Now move. It's got to be working. You fixed it. Yeah. I fixed it, all right. something again. Lucky fucking me. This is too easy. They're directly in front of me. We just shoot first. We're not taking back any prisoners. No shit. They ripped out their implants. things blow up. It's over. It's not over. They've just made other plans and now we have no way to track them. How much time left? 28 hours. I say we fly. They're dead. We don't leave until we get a confirmation. You pull your own plans, you don't got more than a week till you're dead. What was Tunis doing at Bridges' house? How the hell should I know? It's her husband. Ex-husband. Replication. Their bodies dying wouldn't matter. What? RNA replication allows one person to take over another's body. Why else would I have they rigged the house to blow? Unless they wanted to buy some time. That's it. We gotta find your husband. Why here? Because going to his house would be a moot point. All right, Wingate, stay here. Got it. Wait a second. He can't go in there like that. Here, put this on. You're right.
Kathy? Carla. It's been so long. I was so sorry to hear about you and John. Oh, yeah, I bet. Have you seen him? No, I haven't. Listen, Kathy. Even though things didn't work out between you and John, there is still so much you can learn from him if you just let go of that angry... I bet Brian knows where he is. Sure. So, you gonna introduce me? Oh, yeah, this is... Rand. Marla, it's nice to meet you. Brian. Brian, right. I'll get him. Great. So what's your story? I really don't have one. Family? Parents were killed when I was a kid. I'm sorry. It's all right. Kathy. Brian. I've missed you. I mean, really missed you. I really, really need to talk to John. You and everybody else. Then you heard what happened. No. Someone blew up his house. They think it's attempted murder. Murder? John? We'd want to kill John. His book and his work have done so much good for so many people. Well, that's open for debate. Excuse me? Why don't you ask 30 million people who aren't breathing anymore about that little book? What are you talking about? He's just kidding. He's just a kidder. <laughs> John? We need to talk to John. We? Oh, this is Rand. So you two are looking for John? Yeah. Well, this thing with his house has really shaken him up. And with the Jerry meeting... Jerry! Michael Jerry. The politician. Congressman Michael Jerry. He's just read The Universal Being, and he's very interested in the program. Where's this meeting taking place? At the Foundation Building. Are you a friend of John's? No. Let's go. You mind me asking why all this interest in the meeting? Yes, I do. Let's go. Hey, here's a new story about John. The new bestseller, Universal Being, was blown up in an apparent attempted murder. Two people were killed in the blast. One has been identified as 28-year-old John Hamilton, a city employee. The second victim is an unidentified man. Police and ATF agents are focusing their investigation on Bridges' former wife, Catherine Easton. It's a mistake. It's... I Come didn't... On. It's a mistake. We're not going back, are we? I destroyed the ship. We can't go back. You should have told me. It wouldn't have made a difference with our implants extracted. We only have a few days to make the transfer.
After tomorrow, they will have never existed. Either will we. Our life is here. Now. Failure is not an option. Get ready. You're going back to the ship. Why am I going back to the ship? Because if you don't, we won't have time to prep it. But what if we don't kill Tunis? What are they going to do? Nothing. They'll just send somebody else. And let us die. What do you want from me? I just work here. You have kids? What? Kids. Do you have kids? No. I do. I have a daughter. Her name is Juna. They say she's dead. I hope you find her. So do I. I want you to take this. Why? If I don't make it back, just do whatever you think is right. What time's the meeting? 11 o'clock. This whole thing better not turn out to be a big waste of my time. Well, both of them are very involved in the program. So what? Well, this John Bridges is a bit like you. He manages people by seducing them with his methodology. Again, Barbara, so what? Why would this uh, Bridges guy want to help us? Good. This is very good. Your ex-husband's book talks about running your life by controlling those around you and making them a part of your covey, right? Suppose the book was used as a guideline for a political party. And that political party would eventually take over all the other ones, right? I suppose, but it's just a book. Well, it was just a book until a man named Michael Jerry gets a hold of it. He uses it as the basis of his entire political system. And it leads him to the presidency. He brings the country into a nuclear war with the Middle East. Nuclear war? 
and then the bridges to clear the country under martial law. The Constitution is suspended, and Jerry is president for life. Now we have Tunis, here, after Bridges and Jerry. You're talking about things that are in the future, things that haven't happened yet. Believe me. Congressman Jerry. Please, John, call me Michael. Michael. <laughs> Barbara, you'll excuse us. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Gar? No. It would be nice if we could spend this time getting to know each other, but... Given our mutual schedules, it might be best to, as they say, cut to the chase. Yes, well, I understand you've read The Universal Being and were interested in me working with you in some sort of advisory capacity. I've never read your book. And I... to be quite frank with you, I'm not looking for anyone to advise me. <laughs> I'm a little confused. Jeff Weinstein and Gary Worthington have read your book. Yes, they have. In fact, as I understand it, they are huge fans of your work. Well, they've both reached level three in my advanced program. Impressive. Yes, it is. John, I'm making a run for the Senate next year. And I'm going to need the political and financial backing of your two star pupils to do it. <laughs> I see. I'm honored that you've made me privy to this information. I'm um, just not sure what's in this for me. <laughs> I like the way you think, John. Hmm. You have a tax problem. And from what I've been told, you may have misappropriated funds from a number of your ex-wives' accounts to take care of it. I don't know where you got this information. Please, don't embarrass yourself. You and I both know it's just the tip of the iceberg. It's about to become a goddamn scandal. Your ex-wife is so openly upset with you that the police have made her the number one suspect in your house blowing up. I mean, people's homes just don't blow up every day. Oh, then there's the two dead bodies. It's getting ugly, John. Very, very ugly. But I can help you. How's that? I can make it all go away. The IRS, the misappropriation of funds. I just want you to talk to Weinstein and Worthington. Tell them how involved I've gotten in your program. Make them feel like we're all playing on the same team. Simple. Do you understand? Oh, I understand. Good. So, do we have a deal? I don't really have a choice, do I? <laughs> you make it sound like I'm putting the squeeze on you. I am inviting you to become a part of my team. This is my private number. You can always get a hold of me. I'll be staying at the plaza till the end of the week. Keep you advised on how things are going with our friends. It was really nice meeting you. Congressman. Yes? It's called a covey. We call it a covey. Covey? What? We would say, join my covey. It's in my book, The Universal Being. You should read it. Absolutely. Yes, we're here to see John Bridges. Bridges? Wait, don't I know you? No, no, you don't. Hey, wait a second! Drop it! Lady, you don't want to shoot anybody. Just put the gun down. I am cold and tired, and I'm in a really bad mood. Everything will be all right. Just give me the gun. We better hurry. Come on. Cap, 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 Cap. Please don't, don't kill me. You realize we were selling our house. Your little stunt has ruined our plans. Our house? That was my mother's house. Enough about the house. There is no house. But there's a book. You realize what your big ideas have done to the world? I don't know what you're talking about. Chapter 6. 
The needs of the individual that lead the covey are greater than the needs of the group as a whole. I don't understand what, what you're talking about. I don't know. Okay, okay. Okay. Please. You can't do this. Please. Every day this bastard is free to spread his ideas. A thousand people will die. But not today. You said you were here looking for a man named Tunis, not to kill John. Now, I have followed you everywhere. But please, please don't make me part of killing someone. Please, don't. Please. God. Where's Michael Jerry? Uh, it's, uh, it's hotel. Um, the, the plaza. Why are we stopped? There's some men blocking the road. Son of... Take care of it. Get the fucking guys out of the road. Me? Yes, Barbara, you. Get your hands dirty. It's your job. Thanks. Problem. Do you mind letting my partner use your phone to call a tow truck? Sure. What? What do you want? Do what I say and you'll Somebody just shot up a limo with that, uh, Michael Jerry's guy. Kidnapped him. Place is locked up like a drum. I can take you to the Imperial. No. What is it? I mean, you must be right. It's got to be more than a coincidence. It's over. They got him. What do you mean, it's over? Only got a couple hours left. If they're gonna replicate him, we'll never find him in time. We could still find them. How? This replication thing. How do they do it? I don't know. It's some kind of a chemical reprocessing. They do it with energy. Energy? You mean electricity? Yeah. How much electricity? A lot. A hundred volts? A thousand volts? What? Thousands of volts. What are you getting at? If somebody's using more than a hundred volts, they need a special permit, a special hookup. Go on. That's what I do for a living. I issue permits to people needing electricity. Maybe if I can get to a computer, we can find out who's using a lot of voltage. Let's give it a try. I'm sure this is gonna work. Wait a second, I'm getting into the inspector's office system. I'm searching for anybody who might have turned on a lot of power recently. Nothing. I doubt you would have done it legally. Right. Last week, somebody legally tapped into the power supply in this old factory.
Someone is coming. Do you know we are really fighting here, Lieutenant? I don't have the luxury to find that out. That's unfortunate. It would have been better if we could have worked together. And do what? Get out. It doesn't matter anymore, Lieutenant. Michael Jerry is no longer a part of history. The future, as we know it, will never be the same. Won't it? Then let her go. My war is over. So should yours be. I'm afraid it's not that easy. I'm going back. There may not even be a world for you to return to. We don't know that. I return to this time. To defeat them. Were you full of their book? Did you believe in their philosophies? I hated them, same as you. Then if you're against them, you must be with me. No. You've taken too much.
what I just saw. Yeah, I just saw what you just saw. Rand, come in. Rand, do you read me? Rand! safe launch window. Rand? Come in. Warning. You are advised to engage launch cycle immediately. I thought you had to go. Huh? No. Huh? Thank you. For what? Getting me out of the river. Sure, lay back.
Rand? What are you doing? Goodbye. Take off the cuffs, please. Have a seat, please. Thank you. Miss Easton, who do you think is going to believe you? You do. Otherwise, we wouldn't be sitting here. What makes you think that? What is this? We're going to try to convince me that this never happened? You can't. I was there. I know what I saw. We're not talking about what you saw. Then what are we talking about? What we're talking about is making a deal. We'd appreciate your discretion. Your silence. I am charged with murder and terrorism and so many other things I don't even know what. And you want me to be quiet? Congressman Jerry was murdered under somewhat strange circumstances. We would like to avoid a public trial. What do you want from me? Just a little cooperation. Yeah. Right. You tell me one thing. If we can. You know who they were, don't you? Who? Don't bullshit me. Shut it off. Kathy Easton has been the FBI's prime suspect in the assassination of Congressman Michael Jari and two other victims. However, in a surprise development today, the FBI has dropped all charges against Easton, saying her actions may have prevented yet another assassination attempt against an Oregon lawmaker. This is Paula Smith reporting from the federal courthouse. We have three permits on Thursday, one on Friday. Mr. Files, uh, Mr. Getz would like to see you when you have your schedule in order. Thank you, Mary. Niner seven, requesting immediate pickup. Mission operations come in. I have a priority one for Supreme Commander Swift. Computer check return coordinates. Coordinates are correct. Ganymede Station is no longer operational in this sector. Then where the hell are they? I am unable to locate any operational station in this sector.
We picked up your distress call. Although we're not familiar with the station you wanted to contact. I have another problem. My implant needs to be deactivated. Implant? I'm sorry, uh, I, I don't find anything. What ship is this? The Odyssey. We're on our return from the Proximian colonies. To where? To Earth. Earth? Yes. There's nothing there. It was destroyed during the war. What war? I'm so terribly sorry. I, I think perhaps you need some rest. Um... Wingate. Captain Dina Wingate. Welcome, Captain Wingate. Why don't you stay here? We're only a few days out from Earth. You could just ride in with us. That is, if you wish. This way. Joshua. What? His name is Joshua. Oh. He lost his parents. This is for you. Do you have any bridges on board? I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that term. What are they? Nothing. It's not important. I don't know if my daughter is alive in this world. If she is, I'll find her. But at least this world seems like a better place than the one I left. Yesterday I fly around my pseudo sky I 